in the given IIR system, the products are rounded to 4 bits including sign bit. H of Z is given here. Find the output round of noise power in direct form realization. In this type of problems, first step is to draw the corresponding noise model for the given system in direct form structure. So given H of Z, then in this case, the number of bits including sign bit is 4. So excluding sign bit, which is equal to small letter B equal to 3. Then for direct form realization, we can put it in the standard form. That is, we can expand the denominator, which gives an expression of this form. So this is the direct form representation. Now this can be realized for the round of noise model. So here we have two delays. So first you draw the delays. Then as usual we can have the feedback coefficients minus 9.7 become plus 9.97 here it is minus 0.217 then at the every product output we add an error function that is here it is e1 of n here it is e2 of n and the error functions are etc are summed together and given as the input to the system now here in this case we can see that the error seen by E1 of N and E2 of N are one and the same. So the entire system is seen by this both E1 of N and E2 of N. So the noise power can be obtained as the sum of the two. That is because the error, the noise power due to both are the one and the same. So we can only determine the power of noise power of 1 error and multiply it with 2. So the error seen by both E1 of N and E2 of R are the same which is equal to H of Z itself. Now the output noise power is given by the expression sigma e square into i where i equal to this one. Then for direct structure, direct form structure sigma naught square equal to sigma naught 1 square plus naught 2 square. So which is equal to sigma 2 into sigma not one square because sigma not one and not two are equal so we can determine sigma not one square equal to this one substitute this one then as a next step it is better to multiply the numerator and denominator with the z square so that we can remove the z inverse times it will be easy to compute so z inverse into z square gives z then z into this gives z minus 0.35 and the next z multiply with this gives this one. So from which we can easily determine the poles. The poles are at z equal to 0.35 which is denoted as p1 which is equal to 0.35 then p2 0.62 then p3 equal to 1 by 0.35 and p4 equal to 1 by 0.62. Here we can see that this p3 and p4 are greater than 1 that is the poles are outside the unit circle. So the residue due to these two poles will be zero. So we can determine the sum of the residues due to P1 and P2 only. Now the residue due to P1 and P2 we can compute it as which are given by Z minus 0.35 into this time at a Z equal to 0.35. So these two will cancel. Now Similarly, 0.62 and this two will cancel. Now we can substitute for 0.35 gives. Substituting, we get the values in this pattern. So computing, we get 2.897. And similar. Sigma not one square equal to sigma e square into I1. 
sigma e square is given by this x, this values here b equal to 3 into 2.897 gives this value now the total output noise power is given by twice of the that one that is into 2 which gives 7.545 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this is our final answer thank you